How many more times are we going to have to see black youth beaten to death, beaten to the point of not being recognizable? and do it over and over again. Trayvon Martin, Eric Gardner, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice, Steve, Stephen Clark, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Tyree Nichols. How many more times? The virtue signaling is out of control. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, Jesus is Lord. Go get you a Jesus is Lord shirt. We have the blackout version and we have a whole bunch of new stuff, Christian merch, political merch, whatever you want. We got it at the Tatum store. Put the link uh, or put the discount code in this link below. My guy, put it in the screen. You see it, you use it. Get you some merch today. Our premium jackets are off the chain. You don't want to miss it. Now, I want you to like and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live or I make a video. I hope that you're still subscribed to this channel. Like this video, it helps with the algorithm. Share the video, comment. It really pushes push these videos as far as YouTube can manage it. Um, so go and do all those things and let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, Ana Navarro, the fakest Republican person, and she's not a Republican, I don't care what nobody say, Ana Navarro is not a Republican. She's a fraud. She's literally a Democrat posing as a Republican to try to give a Democrat perspective of Republican opinions. It's not real. Now, this fool on The View, and she, she is the most, she is the most annoying person on The View. I know Whoopi Turdberg is one of the ones that I don't like, but, but she is the dumbest woman on The View, period. No, nah, no, nah, I take that back. Let me not lie because uh, old girl is even dumber than she is. However, she is terrible when it comes to virtue signaling. Let me just give you an example, and I got the video to prove it. Listen to what she says, uh, trying to virtue signal about black folks getting hurt every day in the inner city, they're getting murdered. And then listen to what she said, and then I'm going to tear it apart. Roll the clip. People would have done more to help a dog out than they did to help Tyree Nichols out. And that is inhumanity. And what we saw in this case is that good cops come in any gender, any class, any color. And bad cops can be of any gender and any color. And these cops were blue before they were black. Yeah, they were. And these cops were part of the Scorpion unit. It could not have been more aptly named because they were filled with poison and hatred and the desire to kill. That night they were out hunting, yes, hunting yes. for a victim who just happened to be this young man, Tyree Nichols. And I think we are so tired. Everyone is so tired and particularly black mothers are so tired of seeing this over and over again. It was August 28th, 1955 when Mamie Till made the decision of opening up the casket so the world could see. And how many more times are we going to have to see black youth beaten to death, beaten to the point of not being recognizable? and do it over and over again. Trayvon Martin, Eric Gardner, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice, Steve, Stephen Clark, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Tyree Nichols. How many more times? And this is why we cannot ban history. This is why. Better. Tell your this man. This is why. Tell your guy. We need to learn. Tell from, him. You know, this is why in the midst of all of this happening, banning AP African American studies in Florida is the wrong thing to do because we need to learn from history, not to repeat the same things over and over again. Now, let me just explain this. All of the examples that she gave, none of them were beaten unrecognizably, right? There was no Emmett Till in any of these situations. Only one person got beat up, and that was the gentleman at the end, I forget his name, Nichols. He the one got beat up by black police officers. <laughs> With a black police chief. I think the mayor is black. Like, it, it, he, he, he got beat up by police officers. He was still recognizable, but he ended up losing his life as a product of bad policing. Now you go back to Trayvon Martin, which is the first person she said. Trayvon Martin wasn't even killed by a police officer. And then the guy who killed him, Zimmerman, was a Mexican. What are they even saying? The lady is just virtue signaling. And out of all of these circumstances, I don't think cops even got in trouble in any one of these except for the last one. 
None of them were found guilty because they didn't do anything illegal. Now, let me go back to the reason why she's saying things like this. And it's the reason why our country is so messed up today, because the what, what we call virtue signaling. Instead of her being genuinely concerned about black people, instead of her genuinely being concerned about the bodies of black and brown people, she's going off on what she think people want to hear to create a soundbite. Let's do some statistical data right now. How many black people have been shot unarmed by police officers on average every year? 14. I did the research for you. 14. Now we can, we all know, unless you are detached, you have a detached brainstem, that every single person that's shot unarmed is not an innocent person and may not have presented themselves as a deadly threat. But hypothetically, let's say that everybody that was ever shot unarmed is innocent and the person who shot him is racist. 14. Do you know how many black people are in America? 40 million. 14. And we're talking as if cops are just gunning black folks down every time you wake up and turn around. Do you know how many white people there are killed every year? Almost double the number of black people unarmed every year. Go look it up. Washington Post has a, has a good uh, uh, um, database of every shooting that has happened. Now, I don't trust them 100%, but you can go there and get the information for yourself. White people get shot twice as many as black people unarmed. Think about how many white people get shot total in comparison to black people, twice as many. And then people go down and say, well, there's more white people. Well, the black communities are patrolled more. Black people commit more crimes. Black people get engaged by police five times more than white people do. And if you really look at the statistical data of patrolling, of police contact, white people actually are disproportionately targeted than black people are. Go do the math. Don't believe me. Go do the math and prove me wrong. So if a person really cared, they would be focusing on black on black violence. Because if you look at black on black violence, you say 14 black people have killed by police unarmed. We all know that not all of them are innocent, but just say that they were. You got about every year, about 6,000 black folks that are killed by other black men. Let's put this in perspective. And I say this in my videos a lot, but if you're first time watching this video, you're going to gain some interest on this. You go look at the legacy of lynching, the 68 year history of lynching. There was 3,200 black men that were lynched, recorded in, in lynching history in the United States of America. 3,200. Now, there were still almost 2,000 white men, but that's no here nor there. 3,200 black men recorded lynching in the, in the United States of America. You can even say that the, the, the recorded lynching numbers are off. How, how far you want to go? If you look at the numbers we have in record and you look at the amount of black on black violence every year, black people kill more black men, black men kill more black men in a six month period than the entire legacy of lynching in the United States of America. But she don't want to talk about that because she don't care about black people. She don't care about black lives in Miami right now. They haven't have a curfew because brothers are killing each other. I just saw a video just recently. Kid is walking down the street. He just gunned down this one kid right in the middle, right, right in front of the camera. He runs down a block, a couple blocks, get arrested. Now he's going to do life in prison. This stuff happens more often than any other accusations that she brought up. She really don't care about black people. These people really don't care about black lives. They don't talk about education in the black community. They don't talk about fatherlessness in the black community. They don't talk about black on black violence. They don't talk about the things that are ailing or ailments towards the black community at all. They only talk about the sound, the sound bites that they're supposed to talk about the virtue signal. Hey, I could talk about this for another 24 hours, but I want you to watch the rest of my videos. Go to another video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. Go watch another video. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I put out three videos a day. So make sure you go to the uh, playlist that says new video and watch more videos. Subscribe to this channel. Let's go, baby.